If your business has taken over your life, then you need to watch this because I'm going to be sharing with you the three reasons why and what you can do about it to get your time back. I'm Coach Ben and I'm a life and business coach who specializes in working with busy business owners who want to reclaim their time so they can focus on doing more of the awesome things they want to do, not be chained to their business doing a load of admin and firefighting. So if that sounds like you, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's get in to tip number one. And that is processes. Processes are key. If you want a repeatable process that different people can pick up, you want to limit your training time, you want to limit downtime when um, people are out of the business and suddenly someone needs to be able to jump in and do a specific task, you need to have a set of processes that anybody can follow and do that job the same as somebody else would, so that you get that consistency in what's happening because it will limit the fires that are caused because of issues and things getting missed. Now, if you don't have processes, you can start off at a very top level, covering the main processes and the tasks that are done and slowly work your way down. Now, most businesses only need to go to about three tiers deep with this and also a word of warning when it comes to processes, especially in creative roles, do not take those processes too granular, i.e. do not take out all of the creative thinking out of that process because otherwise people default into ticking boxes and they don't tend to think too much or put any creativity on it. It becomes more about just ticking that box. So you need to go into as much detail as you need to in order for that task to be done, but not too much that limits any of the creativity that comes with that role. And reason number two, and that is systems. Most commonly things like CRM systems, which means that when somebody is working on a task and it gets passed to someone else, if you're relying purely on word of mouth and people just communicating like that, it's not the most effective way to do things. If you've got something like a CRM system that things are tracked through and that as people are working on it, they're updating it so you know where things are in the process, you are gonna massively limit the amount of chance that there is of someone dropping the ball, of something getting missed. And if you've got the right systems combined with the right processes, this is a recipe for success. Whereas if you're relying on just people knowing what to do and then people kind of being able to guess where something's at in the process, this is gonna end up being a recipe for disaster and you are gonna end up with a ton of fires, with stuff getting missed, quality problems, the lot. So those two points, really important. And moving on to the final reason, reason number three, that you are stuck losing all your time to your business, and that is accountability. Making sure that people have their role detailed out and they are fully accountable for it. They are accountable for the decisions, the sign off. Everybody knows where their role starts and stops because otherwise, if there are gaps in there, especially with sign offs and anything that involves somebody making a decision on something that can potentially come back on them, it will automatically come to you. And this is one of the admin tasks that I see most often because what happens is even though we craft different roles out and bring people into those roles, the accountability, the sign off part of that role normally ends up still remaining with the person at the top. This creates a massive bottleneck and means that you are constantly gonna get sucked in. You're constantly gonna have your headspace being utilized for all of these decisions that quite honestly should be being made by the people that have the roles and they should be accountable for them because that is their role. So it's not about just kind of getting rid of all of your responsibility, but if you are constantly doing tasks that you find yourself sucked into and you're thinking, why the hell am I doing this? This isn't my role then make sure that you go back to those job descriptions. You make sure they are detailed out, the accountability is detailed in, people understand their accountability, and that that flows through the different processes and the systems. And if you marry up these three things, you will be able to get your time back and be able to focus on more of the things that you wanna do, not a load of admin tasks that you shouldn't be doing. Now, if you find that you do all of this and you're still getting stuck, you just cannot seem to get yourself out of your business and reclaim your time, I've got some good news because I'm offering you a free clarity session with myself where we can run through exactly where you're at now, where the bottlenecks are, where you keep getting sucked into your business, and what you can do about getting yourself out for good so you can focus on the awesome things that you wanna do, things like 
driving the business forward rather than just okaying, making decisions and doing admin that you shouldn't be doing. So if that's of interest, check the link in the description and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.